when you create fur, it is not about how many hairs you are drawing, it's about the space in between that really makes that fur look like a fur. So it's, it's not about the amount of hairs, it's about what you do with the space in between, how you fill that. So when I have laid down my first layer in, in white and in this case a little bit of yellow, I, I randomly look at my fur and create some hair standing out because that is also what makes a fur look like a, a real fur. So at the beginning in, in the hair, the hair implant, I use a little bit of dark to make it look as if they come from a dark space. Um, the skin, of course, where the hair emerges is always a darker place than what's on top. Together, that makes a, makes a fur. So, what I did now was put in some darks there. And what I'm now going to do is go over that with a mid-tone and see what happens. And I will not do that with every strand. I, would, I just want to find out, look, what is this doing? What is this area doing? What is it creating? And you can see now, um, going over the mid-tones, um, it already starts to create depths. And those individual white hairs will just color with it, but they will stay, they will stand. And that is why I always choose on a darker surface white to start with um, when uh, when the fur color is not black uh, white is a excellent color to start with because it gives you a lot of opportunities to turn that into a different color as you can see now here this is already standing out and I only used white and some darker brown for individual hair and use the space in between to create difference. This is um, the color that I am working on, which is your brown ochre. This is still white. <coughs> when I now start to pick up the lighter uh, yellow ochre, you can see that there is already a difference between those two. When I now pick up a little bit more brown, a medium orange brown, use some space in between hairs, use some, you can see that this is already standing out. You can see that the depth of the fur is really coming along with different strands and different proportions and that is how you create a fur which actually looks like a, a fur that an animal in the wild should or mostly has because it doesn't go to the barbers.